First a gator, then a cat, then a turkey. Now another cat. It's the fourth possible python strike in South Florida over the past week. So is there a bigger problem here? CBS 4's Dave Malkoff is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with an answer for us. Dave. Yeah, the latest snake, the one that ate the turkey, was bagged up and brought here to the park. So we asked the experts today, what is going on with all these snakes? Yet another feisty python got him, slithering around the wrong part of the world, ours. And this toothy girl was caught at a local turkey farm. Felix Vasquez is the turkey farmer who walked into the coop and saw a rock python from Africa gobbling down an early Thanksgiving dinner. And that python is a mean one. See? The snake, whose name is now Goblin, lives at the A.D. Barnes Nature Center along with the python whose tonguey jaws swallowed this Siamese cat over the weekend. Well, we're probably not going to end up keeping him because, like I said, he has such a bad disposition. You're yeah. not going to be able to do anything with it and risk somebody getting bit. Jeez, See? <laughs> right on cue. Now, come See? on, you jump too, because just last week, another we're python in the Everglades swallowed an alligator. And then there's this one, an albino in Joan Schwartz's backyard. She has six cats, uh, I mean five. Now we're down to five. One disappeared uh, about two, three months ago, and I think that the snake might have taken it. She called this guy, Adam Stern from the Miami Metro Zoo, who took the Burmese invader away. And he just walked over and picked him up and took it. I thought it was a joke because it was beautiful. It was shining and waxy looking. So why is it that we're seeing these snakes, <laughs> these snakes everywhere and they're, they seem like they're eating everything? Uh, this might just be uh, kind of a coincidence that we found a couple within a couple days. I guess only time will tell if we have more out there or not. The experts also tell us the recent rain is flushing them into our backyards. And the man from the zoo said that this python looked like it had been out there for a while. It was probably someone's pet that got too big and some idiot let it go. You know, there should be a law against these exotic pets. But it is still perfectly legal to keep these snakes as pets. But that's the problem. You've got to keep them. The smallest crack in their cage and they can slither out. They know how to get out of those cages. There's another problem with some people who actually release the snakes into the wild after the novelty wears, wears off and they think that's the humane thing to do. It is not. Some pet stores will actually take the snakes back if you feel that you can't take care of them anymore. So the problem is that you have to know that you are up for 20 to 30 years of pet care when you first get these snakes and they are small. There are other kinds of pythons that you can get that won't get so big. We're live at the A.D. Barnes Park tonight, the home of the snakes. I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 4 News Tonight.